Recently, we have been asked about um, stop down metering. Um, no, using pre AI lenses. Am I saying recently? Today, we're going to have a look at using a pre AI lens on a later generation body, so an AI or AIS body. There are certain cameras that make use of pre AI lenses. And if you haven't seen the video on AI, AIS and pre-AI lenses, then we're going to pop a link below so that you can see that first, just so you can tell the difference between your lenses. This is a Nikon F Photomic, and this is uh, the camera that would employ pre-AI lenses. We'll also work with AI and AIS lenses. The way that the camera could tell where the aperture was, was that the little rabbit ears would engage with that lever. So we don't have that facility on newer bodies, on the F3 here, you'll see that there's no way for the camera to, to actually engage with the rabbit ears. So the rabbit ears become irrelevant on cameras of this generation. But what you do want to look for is whether or not this little lever here around the bayonet of the body is metal. If it's metal, and if you can push it out of the way, and I'll show you a close-up of this shortly, but if you can push it out of the way, then you can actually use, so now it's flat, you can actually use pre-AI lenses on these bodies and then we'll show you how to meter with them next. I'm just going to show you how to move this little lever out of the way here. So if your camera has this little metal button on it here that I'm pushing, then you can actually push this little lever out of the way so that you can mount pre-AI lenses on it. And I'll show you how to do that again. So you just need to push this button down and then push the lever up and out of the way and then that will allow you to put pre-AI lenses on. Don't put your lens on until you've moved that out of the way, otherwise the camera will get stuck on this lever. Now that I've mounted the pre-AI lens onto the F3, as you can see here, in order to meter with this lens on this camera, the only way we're going to be able to do that is by using stop-down metering. So, the method for that is to set your desired aperture. Let's say that my desired aperture was f8, so I'm going to pop the camera onto, or the lens, sorry, I'm going to pop the lens onto f8. And in order for the camera to meter, I'm going to have to press this very important button here. This is called the depth of field preview button. Now, on some cameras, it looks a little bit different. I'm going to show you on an FM3A, although this doesn't work with pre AI lenses, the depth of field preview is a lever. But on the F3s and the F4s and the F5s, it's a button. So when you push this button, the camera closes down the aperture so that the camera can correctly meter through the lens. It will make your viewfinder a bit darker, but then you can actually read the meter inside the camera and see whether or not you're under or overexposed. So once you push that button, check your meter reading. If it shows that it's correctly metering, then you can release that and then you can take your picture. Because it's very difficult to show you the inside of a viewfinder on video, we've actually taken the head off, off of our F3. So here you can see the meter readout at the top, the little plus minus, and also you can see the shutter speed, which says 15th of a second. So just for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to show you. We've set the aperture on our lens to 5.6, which is the aperture we've decided to shoot at. We've made sure everything is in focus, and then we push the depth of field preview button and you can actually see how the viewfinder becomes darker. And it also shows when you push and hold that button that at that shutter speed it's going to be overexposed. It has a little plus in there. Now if I move it to 15 you can see the plus and the minus which means that that will be correctly exposed. If I were to speed up the shutter speed and press the depth of field preview you'd see that actually it's going to be underexposed. So we know when it shows the plus minus there just up there in the top screen, that that is correctly exposed. And that is essentially how you're going to do it on any camera. The FM, the FE, the F4, um, the F3, they'll all do the same thing. When you, when you stop down the meter, it will show you, once you stop down, whether or not you're correctly exposed.